Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday. Alright, we got, uh, we got some, uh, some new things going on. Uh, busy, busy here at the buildings lately. Um, but this weekend, I got some, uh, got some new tools I've been waiting on. A couple things were back ordered, and, uh, well, I'm going to show you that. First of all, I made myself a big old haul of some scrap tubing the other day. I have to turn that in one of these days soon. Um, but yeah. Then we got some uh, screw holding screwdrivers here. These are uh, Klein. Or um, a company that got bought out by Klein. It's Vaco. But uh, really nice. Uh, all other screw holding screwdrivers I've seen before this are a total joke, but this one really works. Um, both of these work, I see. And, uh, but the one I like the best is this one. I keep it in my pocket. That grabs most of the little screws that are a pain in the ass, anyways. So, that stays in my pocket. Then I got the client, uh, the Phillips version of that. Same thing. Really nice. I keep those in my pocket, seriously. A lot of hassle. Put it back. Got myself some nice light fixtures too. Um, <laughs> what's in here? Oh yeah, I got myself a couple service wrenches, uh, all sizes, and a little bit. So I keep that in the screwdriver box bag. Uh, and a couple fine nut drivers, magnetic hollow ones, quarter and five sixteenths. Couldn't quite spend the 70 bucks for the whole set. I thought about it, but I probably will eventually. And then, uh, I've been waiting for this for a while too, the Finfix set, the yellow jacket. Really nice. Uh, one of my uh, friends had one of these, and every other fin comb I tried before seemed like kind of bullshit. And this one was, uh, this one worked nice. That really cleans the fin out and uh, has all the sizes there. And everything else, all the kind of universal ones are really a joke. Um, for actually, for actually cleaning them. And I also uh, picked up the old Klein 11 in 1. I uh, used to carry around the two nut drivers uh, you may have, may have saw, and uh, so now we got an extra screwdriver and those nut drivers contained in one, so I like that a lot. It's a my tool patch much nicer. Well, yeah, I just figured I'd save the best for last. Got the new CPS, uh, it's a 410A kit. And it has a separate manifold and hoses and uh, a lot of other cool stuff you need for, uh, for especially for split systems. And um, I have a couple 410A units here at the building and other buildings um, that, uh, and I haven't even wanted to put my manifold gauges on them because I don't want to cross contaminate the oil. So now I have a separate kit that's just for that. I'm going to show you all the great, this kit was under 300 bucks and it came with all kinds of great stuff. It was a screaming deal from what I can tell. Uh, of course you got these two hex key sets, metric and standard. That's nice. And then, uh, of course I got our shiny new pink anodized uh, manifold set. I like this too, it has a little, uh, I guess it's for your vacuum gauge or whatever, but it's got a little straighter core in here. Nice. So I'll set those aside. Uh, nice new hoses, ball valve ends. Now it would have been nice if these were had low loss fittings on there too, but I don't know if there's a way for them to work that out or not. But that would have been my my preference. Oh, it comes with this really nice, from what I can tell, really nice flaring bar. 
and it's centric cone flaring tool. Looks pretty high quality to me. It's got a ratchet you can give you a little ratchet you can turn it down with too. Maybe a couple little pieces of copper in there. Just so they can show you how nice of a flare it makes. Or something. I guess. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A super special little torque wrench here. It comes with a. Uh, where are the little. Where are the little bastards? Ah, over here. So you put them on there. You're on there and you set your torque to whatever the manufacturer recommends for, for that split system and you torque them down and you know you got no worries. Put that back. Um, comes with a 516 valve port remover, uh, just like my yellow jacket one. Except for 5 sixteenths, it comes with some straighter cores in there. Also looks like a real nice tool. I like it. Um, and this is, this is, there's only my one complaint about this is that it didn't come with any of the loss fittings. It comes with all the quarter inch male uh, by 5 sixteenths adapters, but no low loss stuff. They even give you some, you know, 5 sixteenths service port caps, you know. Now, two straight adapters, two angle adapters, but none of them are low loss. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is uh, get a, a 5 16 um, thumb screw core depressor and use those. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, these have straighter cores in them. That's interesting. Wonder why. Anyways, so they're kind of interesting fittings, but uh, not really quite what we're looking for still. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll have to work out some kind of low loss fittings. But other than that, I got myself a nice, uh, nice starter kit for 410A here, and for under 300 bucks. I strongly recommend it if you're looking at getting most of these tools it's probably a good deal so um all right thanks for watching guys this is a little something i wanted to add to the end of my uh new tool video because i was uh, saying i was complaining that there was no low loss fittings on there um what i'm not considering is that the ball valve is a low loss fitting um i had a bit of a misconception about that i always thought that a low loss fitting actually um sealed the service port long enough for you to get your uh, your hose unthreaded, the fitting unthreaded, and then it would, uh, I thought with a, a traditional fitting, it was just holding down the pin still while you were t unthreading it. And uh, as I learned that's not the case. It's actually the uh, high pressure liquid in the hose that's uh, coming out of the hose is what sprays your fingers and uh, burns you. Um, so the fact that I have ball valves uh, eliminates that problem. So. Uh, Apologies uh, to any, any bad things I said about my nice new kit here. Um, all those little adapters and everything will work perfectly uh, for what I'm doing. So this style uh, goes to show. Uh, you're not always, nobody's perfect. You forget stuff sometimes. And uh, just wanted to add that. It's got some uh, random stuff I pulled out of that uh, water heater, that three phase, a four pole contactor, 120 volt coil. I don't know if I'll ever need that, but, uh, and then, um, uh, 230, um, by 120 tra transformer, so, yep, interesting stuff, I uh, got some new light, light shipment today, got some two lamp ballast, and some little PL 7 watt lights, and, gonna go to the Home Depot need some more stuff to get that uh, water heater wired up I need a new pigtail the old one's not long enough 
Yeah. That little fuse block was in there too, so a little 15 amp fuse block. It's awesome. Nothing wrong with saving parts. You'll find them, find a use for something someday. Um, what else am I? What else am I on today? Anything? Anything new? No. Um, got that water heater. Maybe we could uh, slide out. Uh, no, I'll, uh, uh, that doesn't belong on this video. I had to put that, uh, I'll put that with the other water heater one and I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, we got the, got it all piped in. I'll do a little video of me wiring it up and, uh, with the new pigtail and everything. I'll show you it all done. All right, um, so that's it for now. I just wanted to add that. Um, I do have those last fittings. Sorry, CPS. They make a very fine product. Thank you.